Good afternoon, family. This is Miss Norma. I'm in the bus. Amen. Praise the Lord. But I don't want another day to go by without talking to you all and seeing you all. And uh, the book that I've chosen for the month of October is titled Living His Love. However, I didn't put it in my bag when I left out this morning. So I do want to do a reading. Um, it's it's going to come from the book Jesus Always. And it's titled, um, I Am Your Strength. And the second part is Learn to Lean on Me. It's a two-part reading, but they're very short. And this morning... Um, I used these readings in my own personal devotion, and it was, tr it was truly a blessing for me. So um, I'm still going to do our reading when I get home by God's grace. Pray for me, but I don't want to leave us without anything for today because this was such a blessing to me. So the first part is, I am your strength. Amen. Let us pray. Abba Father, thank you for being our strength. Thank you for the reminder, Lord. And Father, some people may be hearing this for the very first time or possibly getting an understanding of where their strength and their hope comes from. So Lord, bless each and every one of us. <clears throat> keep us as only you can keep us. And thank you, Lord, again for the words of encouragement and the living words of the scripture lessons. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I am your strength and your shield. I continually work sometimes in wondrous ways to invigorate you and protect you. There, the more fully, <coughs> excuse me, you trust me, the more your heart can leap for joy. I want you to trust me wholeheartedly resting in my sovereign control over the universe. When circumstances seem to be spinning out of control, hold on to me, believing that I know what I'm doing. I orchestrate every event of your life to benefit you in this world and the next. While you are in the throes of adversity, your greatest challenge is to keep on trusting that I am both sovereign and good. Do not expect to understand my ways, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways and thoughts higher than yours. When you respond to trouble with thanksgiving, convinced that I can bring good out of the most difficult situations, difficult situations, I am pleased. This act of faith encourages you and glorifies me. I rejoice when my struggling children give thanks to me in song. Amen. Hallelujah. Our first scripture lesson is from Psalm 28, verse 7. And it says, The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and I am helped. My heart leaps for joy, and I give thanks to him in song. Amen. <clears throat> Psalm 18, verses 1 and 2. I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock, in whom I take refuge. Amen. Psalm 18, 1 and 2. <clears throat> Excuse me, and that's from the Old Testament. And lastly... For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Amen. I am your strength and your shield. Thank you, Abba Father. And now for part two. Part two of this reading encourages us in the, to continue with learn to lean on me. Learn to lean on me more and more. I know the full extent of your weakness. Amen. And that is where my powerful presence meets your strength. Meets you, excuse me. My strength and your weakness fit together perfectly. Oh, when I read that this morning, I said, wow. 
and a wonderful synergy designed long before your birth. Actually, my power is most effective in weakness. This is counterintuitive and mysterious, yet it is true. It is important to learn to lean on me when you're feeling inadequate or overwhelmed. Remind yourself that you and I together are more than adequate. Amen. Amen. To sense my nearness, try closing your hand as if you are holding mine. For I take hold of your right hand and say to you, do not fear, I will help you. I want you to depend on me even when you feel competent to handle things yourself. This requires awareness of both my presence and your need. I am, I am infinitely wise, so let me guide your thinking as you make plans and decisions. Amen. <clears throat> Leaning on me produces warm intimacy with me, the one who will never leave you or forsake you. But he said to me, my grace, my favor and loving kindness <coughs> and mercy is enough for you, sufficient against any danger and enables you to bear the trouble manfully. For my strength and power are made perfect, fulfilled and completed and show themselves most effective in your weakness. Amen, hallelujah. Oh Lord, thank you for that picture. Therefore, with all the more glory, with all the more gladly glory in my weaknesses and infirmities that the strength and the power of Christ, the Messiah, yes, may rest or pitch a tent over and dwell upon me. Second Corinthians 12, 9. And that's the New Testament. And then again in the New Testament, Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. And then we have Isaiah, <coughs> excuse me, family, 41 verse 13. And it says, for I am the Lord, your God, who takes hold of your right hand and says, do not fear. I will help you. And lastly, from the Old Testament, Deuteronomy 31, 6 says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord, your God, goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. Amen, family. And I am just so thankful and grateful for these words. The Lord has blessed and brought other thoughts to my mind, and I will share them later in a few moments. But family, just know we got to learn to lean on the Lord. Um, the thought that came to me was <laughs> when we are in need of being rescued, we can't be rescued until we stop fighting. Remember that. You cannot be rescued until you stop fighting. You ever see someone, they trying to save them in the water, trying to save them from drowning, and they have to get behind them and hold them, and they tell them, they said, stop fighting. I got you. God says that to us when we're in a turmoil, and he joins us, and he tells you, be still and know that I am God. Hallelujah, family. Amen, amen, and amen again. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, family. Have a blessed and wonderful day, and by his grace, I'll see you later. The 16th is still coming, but this is just a little something to <coughs> encourage us along the day, because this surely encouraged me this morning in my personal, dev personal devotions. I love you. This is Miss Norma signing off. And by his grace, I'll see you later. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father. Amen.